you're saying that that touring has become truly a DIY thing. You're saying that like promoters don't promote, agents don't 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 agent that everybody that basically <laughs> that you know that managers don't manage that essentially the most you can hope for is that they're going to hold the door for you and even then you've got to type up the guest list so wh why uh, uh, with the DIY thing there's so much to think about what how do you have time to do it all and what what are the biggest things that people should really worry about the biggest things to worry about are the smallest things so you have the tip jar there's your 15 to 60 dollars right there you have a choice of shirts there's another hundred dollars right there because you'll sell more shirts. Um, and you you just incrementally start doing these things. You don't, if you try to implement everything in, in Tour Smart, your head would explode. You know, just just going from sharing postcards to sponsorships and partnerships to 20,000 promotional CDs with 18 different bands on this thing, that's a five year uh, arc right there. You don't need to take five years to do it. You can absorb that, but choose a few things and go we could do that postcard thing because we know we I do graphics and this and that and this and that. or we could do this other idea pick a few ideas and do them and then like type in the guest list for instance you know that makes a difference because you don't want people you've invited to not get in just because the guy in the door can't find their name so you type up your list on your computer and alphabetize it um, that's easy but once you start doing it the first time will be like fuck off I'm typing this, uh, who's got, well, we don't have a cartridge, oh my god, I should be worrying about my lyrics, oh, and I'm typing the list, after a week, you'll be just be like, you'll be doing an interview, and like, yeah, great, and typing the guest list, and stirring the dry ice mixture with one hand, and, I don't know, shagging somebody under the table, you'll be multitasking, but, but you know, it's, it's a gradual process, to, and to, if you find yourself dealing with that stuff okay, add something else, add something else. You know, and once a band is on the road, here's, here's another reason a band needs to tour. You're you're getting the most precious feedback. It's not your friends going, "Good show, you're great." It's people from another city walking out when you're crap. Um, the Marx Brothers loved playing four shows a day, and and uh, Groucho, when he was interviewed, said at the height of their vaudeville uh, period, the audience was writing the material. So they'd do something in the morning. If it was good, it stayed in the noon show. Uh, if it was shit, it was gone by the afternoon. For a band to do four shows, sometimes that takes a band a month. You know, The more shows you can do, the more feedback you get, the more you can apply those lessons and become better. Not better on your instrument, but better for your audience. Uh, Phyllis Diller. You know, I didn't want to come here like, yeah, Phyllis Diller. Um, th there was a period in comedy where she was doing seven shows on a Saturday. And she said the, 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 the creative arc, seven shows in one day, things were just moving really quickly. And, and when things are moving quickly, your brain starts to fire more quickly. Everything, it's like everybody's on speed and the rest of the world's in slow motion. You can make all these changes and you appear to be superhuman, you know, with, with the iterations of your material and stage show, you know. So that's another reason a band needs to tour.